sacred now. So what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran, Surah Tawbah, Surah number 9, Ayah number 36. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about they are 12 months. In that, four are sacred. Inna iddata shuhuri in the Allah isna ashara shahran fi kitabillahi yawma khalqa samawati wal arda minha arbatum huru. So indeed, the number of months with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is 12. How many months are there? 12. And out of 12, uh, the four are sacred. This is mentioned. So whether it's lunar calendar or solar calendar. So the months will be how many? Months will be 12. But four are sacred months. So when talking about the sacred months, what are the things that is forbidden? Like uh, not taking part in the war, not fighting. Like, you know, people must be thinking, okay, we are not uh, going to war, but how we fight, you know, uh, doing the backbiting, doing the things which is forbidden. Otherwise also, it's uh, forbidden, but especially in the time of the sacred month. So one, one of the sacred month is Rajab. So in the sacred month, it is more wrong, isn't it? So what are the things we do which is not correct Islamically? Those are like, you know, doing things which are culturally. According, according to the culture, they are following it. Why they are following it? Because their forefathers did it. For example, on 27th of the night, people celebrate, they are awake whole night and they fast. According to Sunnah, there is no such thing like Prophet said, especially in the month of Rajab. When you start fasting like, you know, Sunnah way, Monday and Thursday, you can fast. Ayah may be 13, 14 and 15th of uh, every month, lunar calendar, you can do that fasting. But when it comes to awakening, especially in the night of 27th Rajab, there is no authentic narration regarding that. You have the habit of awakening every night for the tahajjud, it's appreciated. So when Prophet ﷺ used to ask any question, they used to reply, Allah and His Messenger knows best because that's what it is. So when we ask somebody, why you are doing, why you are celebrating in Rajab, especially Kunde, celebrating the Puri and you know, some sweets, uh, why the particular month and uh, why you are fasting on 27, they don't have any authentic narration. And they are going to Umrah, especially in the month of Rajab. But Prophet ﷺ, he, he did four Umrahs, not a single Umrah he did in Rajab. And apart from all of this, there are certain things which are doing culturally. So let's see what we have to do and what we are forbidden. First of all, all the Rajab is one of the sacred month of Islamic calendar. Prophet ﷺ said the year is 12 months out of which four are sacred. Three one after other like Zikada, Zil Hajjah, Muharram and the fourth is Rajab. Which one between Jiyamadul Akhir and Shaban. This is in Sahih Al-Bukhari. In Arabic Rajab means to respect or to revere. Rajab was also known as Rajab Mudar. Mudar was the name of an Arab tribe. It was the name of an Arab tribe. The tribe, you know, here had taken special steps to sanctify and revere the, this month. This month came to be associated with this tribe. Yani they were killing and waging war and was rampant. In This is like a pre-Islamic era. So, Arabia, but 
when the sacred month came upon them they would stop all the wars killings and put their weapons aside therefore regarding rajab the ignorant arabs used to say rajab is that in which arrows and weapons are kept aside the ignorant people used to sanctify this month specially rajab and would not wage wars they would sanctify animals in the name of their idols this is in bahaki but islam did not command any special prayer or worship in this month however with the passage of time certain acts of worship came to associated with this month which we will discuss in the false rituals so in the uh, false rituals you know sacrificing qurbani in the month of rajab in this month some people offer sacrifice however sacrificing in this month is a custom of uh, time of jahaliya ignorant ignorant uh, arabs used to offer a goat for the sacrifice in this month called al atira and the skin of the sacrifice goat was then hung on a tree and called rajabiya sacrifice of rajab in bukhari and muslim abu huraira radhiyallahu anhu narrated that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said fara is nothing and atira is nothing fara was the first born calf of the camel which was sacrificed in the name of idols and second thing another this is misconception which we are not allowed to do we are just like you know making sure we shouldn't do this and what are the do's inshallah we'll discuss that also any special mode of worship attribute by some people of this month is called salatul al raqib this according to uh, some of the customs they do it the first friday of the month this is incorrect the salatul raqib is said to consist of 12 raka to be performed in prayer with six salams and each raka suratul qadr is recited three times followed by surah ikhlas this type of salah is not based on any sound source of sharia this is not authentic and this innovation form of uh, salah initiated in the 4th century and has no basis in it ibn tahmiya writes in his book that all scholars have unanimously declared this salah to be fabricated and made up and observing fast some people you know observe fast uh, in this month uh, from authentic narration there is no such thing prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would have recommended that he never said so regarding 27th of rajab to fast on that day there is no such narration as i mentioned before you can fast on monday and thursday apart from uh, you know uh, mandatory fasting in ramadan and uh, you can do ayam e bi 13 14 and 15th of lunar calendar so what we learn in surah al hujurat it is mentioned oh you who believe do not go beyond allah and his rasul so how we can do that umar radhiyallahu anhu used to forbid people to fast in rajab and he also used to compel the people to break their fast because that is exaggerated reverence of rajab and observing fast in this month was act of period of ignorance jahaliya so we should avoid that umrah in this month some people used to perform umrah in this month of rajab perhaps they believe performing umrah in this month is more meritorious than in other no tradition prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam like you know he did four umrahs he not a single umrah he did in rajab no such thing the lastly this is very important especially in asian countries this has been done on 22nd of rajab uh, preparation of special meal called kunde especially in indo pak has been established as well known tradition in this tradition on the fulfillment of a vow mannat traditional sweet dishes halwa puri and kheer are prepared from historical facts we know that this tradition began uh, in 1906 in the family of amir menia who belonged to a city of india the objective of this tra- uh, tradition was to send a reward isal e sawab to the soul of imam jafar sadiq although it was never clear imam jafar was born in rajab or he died in rajab allah knows best so in islam 
celebrating the birthday of righteous people or doing special charity in his name is not allowed it's a big no so moreover you know kunde tradition ha, is neither found in quran or sunnah nor we find any evidence for kunde from the companions of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and uh, some people without even knowing what is right or what is wrong they start doing the things because they are following culturally they don't even go in details whether we have to do it or not so we have to make sure that what is correct we should do that and what is incorrect we should stop doing it and one one more uh, thing we have to like before ending this uh, many people they greet each other what they greet as soon as the you know rajab starts they are greeting each other and they are saying allahumma barik lana fi rajab wa shaban wa balighna ramadan this is a weak hadith there is uh, no uh, such authentic narration regarding that when it was uh, uh, asked with the you know uh, uh, regarding this uh, hadith is there any authenticity so many scholars uh, they said there is no such thing with regard to the you know allahumma balighna ramadan or the previously what i mentioned sheikh utaimi also said uh, better not to say this thing because whatever rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam did we will follow that whatever he didn't do it we will not do that because allahumma barik lana fi rajab wa shaban wa balighna ramadan this is not authentic narration we should stop doing that but what are the things we should do it because in rajab isra and miraj happen and we believe in that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam went to miraj and uh, uh, like uh, there is a night journey the night of ascension in the light of the quran and sunna and uh, surah isra is there in that in the starting ayahs is completely mentioned about that only the dates are different but we believe in that you can send more and more durood throughout the year we should follow quran and sunna we should observe fasting every month monday and thursday fasting on 13 14 and 15 sending more durood especially on the fridays when you send durood when you recite durood your you will be getting 10 good deeds and your 10 uh, you know sins will be erased and your 10 level of decrease will be in case you don't have to go to the medina of course if you go to medina there also you can recite durood and you should uh, face the uh, qibla when you recite the durood there also even though uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, grave is there but you have to uh, you know uh, like your face towards kabatullah and when we recite durood do we have to do collectively no there is no such thing you can recite it on your own you will get the reward and try to do more good and in this month you should avoid all the kinds of backbiting fighting and mis uh, like you know misunderstanding